Well, come back. We have left Key West, and now we are in Miami. We're staying at the Betsy. Gonna go over the menu real quick. All right, so we're staying here at the Betsy. And of course, it's the LT Steakhouse. We'll leave a link below if you guys wanna book through Nicole and our my uh, travel website. Uh, beautiful hotel. Just out here, you can see Ocean Boulevard here. Super cute Art Deco area of Miami. All right, so I took a nibble. It's not gluten free, but it's basically is like a bratsy bite mixed with like a Yorkshire pudding. And that would be the best way I'd, and it's honestly amazing. I might have one a little more nibble, um, but yeah, definitely not trying to do gluten, but. It's uh, worth it for me. All right, the chicken, it is gluten-free. It does look fried, but it says it's gluten-free. It's the al matone. And then Nicole went with a nice side salad with chicken. And the chicken actually looks really, really good. By the way, these things are so, so good. All right, guys, we didn't do a leaving video because we went to the bar to have some drinks, but the food was really good. Nicole's chicken, fantastic, really light salad. And uh, gosh, my chicken dish, I'm telling you right now, if you're on the mood for chicken, get that. Make sure to have the pickled little peppers that are kind of in the dish. If you're going through it, those are the money. That is the best part. Um, and you pick up a nice little bit of like a white wine um, vinegar in there, just, just a really good dish. It's definitely probably chicken dishes. It's definitely up there in my top 25, maybe of my lifetime. I know that sounds weird, but um, really, really good. Anyways, um, from the Betsy, I'll leave a link below if you want to stay here. The LT Steakhouse was really good. Service, I would say, was decent. Not very, like, joyful or even talkative or anything. It was very much like, here, can I take your order? Um, I'm real into service that obviously I worked in the service industry for years. So for me, it's the first thing I notice. Um, I wouldn't say it was bad. I just don't think it kind of for a place that you're spending some money at, you kind of want some type of interaction, I guess. Some people don't. I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah, but I'd probably give this a good like 4.2 out of 5. And if I'm doing the 10 point scale, I'd probably give it about an eight point six we'll we'll say that all right guys till next time we're in miami for a couple days and then we're back home and then we're going to the uk and we're going to scotland and we're renewing our vows so i hope you guys can tune in keep checking out the channel and uh see what you like on here thanks again